Apparently, the British government is concerned about the rise of anal sex among the population, uh, and they want people to stop it. So the Independent reports here, the government is concerned that increasing numbers of young people are trying anal sex, according to an official consultation. Officials at the Department for Culture, Media, and Sport, it's a hilarious department, are baffled at the increased popularity of the act, despite apparent research suggesting it is not pleasurable for women. <laughs> the warning is uh, included in a consultation document issued by the department about plans to further restrict access to online porn. Oh, shit. It argues that young people are trying anal sex as a result of having viewed pornography and that this is an unwelcome development. Quote, Many people worry that young people will come to expect their real-life sexual experiences to mirror what they or other peers see in pornography, which often features ambiguous depictions of consent, submissive female stereotypes, and unrealistic scenarios, the consultation reads. Okay, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and uh, fuck right off, British government. <laughs> Alright, you wanna talk about being too far left. You wanna talk about such big government that it's intrusive in our private lives in a way that's totally unacceptable. Here it is right here. Now, you know, maybe I'm wrong because this is actually kind of a mix. It's a, like, this is something that the far right would love. Oh, yeah, controlling people's sex lives. I'm on board with that. But then also, this is something, at least in the European context, that the left might like in the sense that it's some government agency with a report that's a big government that's saying, you know, there are health issues here that we need to be concerned about. So there's a, it's a little bit of a, an amalgamation and a mix here of the left and the right. But either way, I don't like it. Okay, and maybe this is my libertarian streak showing, particularly on uh, social issues here, but... Hey, piss off! What the fuck? We, why are you d getting in people's bedrooms and, uh, in many circumstances, cock-blocking people here? I mean, now, if you were just talking about uh, health, and you were to say, Hey, look, we've had an uptick in health issues as a result of this, so... Wear protection. Well, then I have zero issues with what you're saying. But I just laid it out for you. The report says that uh, it's a broader report where they say they want to further restrict access to online pornography. What the fuck, man? <laughs> like, so you want to make decisions about policy based on your preference, the government's preference as to what kind of sex is acceptable and not acceptable. Well, as long as it's consensual, which it is, stop! It's got nothing to do with you at all. And they say, well, we have research that shows that women uh, don't think it's all that pleasurable. But your study showed that a certain percentage of women, and men, I'm sure, agreed to anal sex. Well, if they agree to it, it's consensual. So your concern about, hey, people don't like it, that's not merited anymore if it's consent and they agree to it. Now, maybe after one, somebody tries it or something, they're like, you know, I don't like that and we're not going to do it again. But then they won't do it again. They'll be able to work it out on their fucking own. You don't need a fucking government minister sitting in the living room or in the bedroom like, okay, now, what was done last night? All right, we have 69. Anything else? Were there, uh, was there lube involved? Did you have some leather clothes? Maybe some assless chaps? Uh, tell me what's going on here, and then I will adjudicate what you can and cannot do or should or should not. Fuck off! Fuck off! Stop it! Don't control pornography. Let people do what they want. They're not hurting anybody else. Don't control what's going on in the bedroom. And this idea of like, oh, gosh golly, there's the... Sexual trends are developing over time because of this pornography that's online. Yeah. And? <laughs> like, no, I'm going to need you to do it in a bedroom, uh, lights off, missionary style, and it can't take any more than... six and a half minutes. Go. I- you seriously need to butt the fuck out. I mean, I, I read this story, I- Part of me thinks this is, like, worse than the NSA collecting all of our metadata. It's, it's really not, so calm down, I don't really mean that. But, it's the same kind of thing. It's like the government going in areas where they're not welcome at all. They're like, alright, anal sex, bad. Uh, stop doing this, stop doing that, gonna restrict pornography, too. I mean, this is where you have uh, the British government, because this government is so big with the Department of Sport and Anal Sex and whatever the fuck this is, they're just getting in people's lives. So this is something like, I feel like evangelical Christians in the U.S., the fundamentalist Christians would look at this and go, right on, you tell them to stop having pleasure sex. Do you do that? Because we don't like that either. 
Anytime the evangelical Christian right in America is agreeing with you and what you're doing, you might want to reevaluate. So I know people in Britain, according to the numbers, are way more atheistic and secular, and they're right for that, way more enlightened. But again, if you're doing shit that the Christian right in America agrees with, you probably should stop. And in this case, you definitely should stop. Get out of our bedrooms. We don't need you in there.